Friends, today through this video, we are going to learn that to control this contactor, how we do two wire control wiring and how we can do three wire control wiring. So first of all, we will talk about two wire control wiring. Like here you can see I have a contactor. Now if I want to turn on and off this contactor, then coil of contactor, like here you can see it is written A1 and A2. We call these terminals as coil terminals of contactor. On these two terminals, we have to provide power supply. Like on output terminal of this MCB, if I connect two wires, I am taking this wire here and I am connecting this with MCB. After connecting this, I turned on the MCB. After turning on this, in these two wires, there is power supply. If I take these two wires and connect with these two terminals, then in this condition, contactor will turn on. On removing wire, contactor will turn off. You can hear this knock sound. Okay, so to this contactor, if I provide phase supply and neutral supply, then in this condition, this contactor will be turned on. But to this contactor, we do not provide power supply directly. We have to turn on and off contactor. So in between, we use a switch also. So to operate this contactor, if you use this type of selector switch, then by using this selector switch, control wiring which is done is known as two wire control wiring. We call this as two wire control wiring because in this selector switch only two wires are used. Among these two wires take one wire and in this MCB here with phase terminal of MCB connect one wire. It means selector switch here first of all we are providing power supply to this selector switch from here. After this take second wire and this contactor here with A1 terminal of contactor like you can see here here is A1 terminal. So with this terminal we will connect this wire directly. Now to operate this contactor, we have to provide neutral power supply also. So I am taking a wire and connecting directly with neutral terminal of MCB. Now take other end of this wire and we will connect this wire directly with A2 terminal of contactor. So after this much connection, if I turn on the MCB and after turning on MCB, if I turn on the selector switch, then in this condition, contactor will turn on. On turning off selector switch, contactor turn off. So for now you can see with this selector switch only two wires are connected. It means to operate this contactor we are using only two wires here. This neutral wire here we are not counting this neutral wire. Only to control phase supply wire which is used we will count this only. So this whole control wiring we did just now this control wiring is known as two wire control or two wire control wiring. Now this contactor or starter which is there to operate this starter what is three wire controlling? Let's understand this. Look, to turn on and off any contactor, if you use this type of start or stop push button, then wiring which you will do here is known as three wire control wiring. By using start stop push button, we also do four wire control wiring, but in most of the conditions, we use three wire control wiring only. How to do three wire controlling? Let's have a look. This push button here, at the back side of this element is connected. One is NO element, one is NC element. With these two push buttons, we have to connect wires so that on pressing start push button, contactor will be turned on and on pressing stop push button, contactor will turn off. For this, what we will do, both these push buttons here, with these two push buttons, we connect wires. For now, I am talking about three wire control wiring. So here you can see I have total three wires. By using these three wires, I am going to do whole control wiring. So among these three wires, I am picking any one wire and this NO push button here with this I am connecting this wire. Now take second wire and with this second push button, I am connecting this second wire. After this, what we will do, NO push button here and NC push button here, we will connect these in series. To connect these in series, we are using a loop of wire. Take this loop and with these two contact here, connect this loop. You can see the connections here. Now among these three wires, we already connected two wires. We don't count this looping wire. Only these three wires are counted. Looping is connected here in push button box. We don't count this. So we did the connection of these two wires. Now take this third wire and contact which is present here with this contact looping which we did with this looping wire connect this wire. For now with this NO contact, I connected this wire also. You can see the whole connections here. Now take other ends of these wires and with the MCB and contactor connect these wires. For connection we have to see with stop push button which wire is connected. 
you can see here gray wire here is connected with stop push button so i'm taking this gray wire and in this mcb with face terminal connect this wire with this terminal i connected this wire here now this white wire is connected with ano contact of start push button so take this wire and this contactor here with a1 terminal of this contactor connect this wire in this way after this this wire i mean purple color wire here take this wire and ano contact which is here connect this wire with this contact okay i am not connecting this wire right now before this i want to explain you something for now we did wiring of start push button and stop push button now let's put back these push buttons like this after this mcb here i am turning on this mcb after turning on mcb you can see right now contactor is in off condition now if i press start push button here then you can see my contactor here is turned on on releasing start push button contactor turned off on pressing start push button contactor turned on so what is happening here is we are not able to hold this contactor hold means on pressing start push button even if we release this then in this condition also contactor must remain on if you want to hold this contactor then for this this purple wire here need to be connected with ano contact of contactor for this what you will do take this holding wire and ano contact here connect this wire directly with this ano contact after this take a small loop of wire and ano contact of contactor here output one connect this wire with this contact take other end of this wire and even terminal which is here connect this wire with this terminal remember that through ano contact power supply which is coming we have to connect this with a1 terminal only if by mistake we connect this with a2 terminal then short circuit will happen because at a2 terminal we already connected neutral power supply before so after this much connection if i turn on the mcb and after turning on this if i press start push button then in this condition you can see our contactor is turned on if i want to turn off contactor then for turning off press stop push button you can see on pressing start push button contactor turned on on pressing stop push button contactor turned off so you can see here to operate this contactor i used only three wires here So if in your control circuit only three wires are used then we call this as three wire control wiring if you want to learn about control wiring of star delta starter then click on the right hand side video to watch friends i hope you like this video if you like this video then please give like on this video thanks for watching this video